Welcome back to Ramco TV. My name is Brad Vorey, one of the application engineers here at Ramco. Snap signal products from Banner Engineering simplify accessing data from either existing equipment or new equipment uh, by simply taking sensor data and converting it to a signal and then out Ethernet to your controller in the most simplest form. Um, if this is a new concept for you, check out our website and learn a bit more about how this works, what it does, and see if it's a good fit for you. So join me um, and stay tuned for a multi-part series on different segments from the SNAP signal, all the way from connecting to accessing the specific information from the sensor to connecting to your PLC and uh, getting the data up to the cloud. So let's assume that you already have a basic understanding of how SnapSignal works. So we're going to talk a bit about the hardware and what it does. To start, this is the DXM R90 controller. Um, it com comes in a couple different flavors, uh, either a Modbus communication or IO-Link. So depending on the type of application you're doing um, and what you want to do, one might fit better than the other. So on the bottom here, we have four ports. These are the Modbus ports that connect either to, directly to a sensor or to some type of converter and then to a sensor. On the side, this is your Ethernet port that's going to connect your PLC or Ethernet to a cloud service power. And then this port on the side is for connecting to either a multiple DXM R90s or it can also be used as a master port for other sensors as well. Additionally, on these four ports, um, I'm not limited to four sensors. I can actually take multiple sensors and daisy chain them. So we can actually get quite a few sensors on this. Um, so we can do a lot of sensors with just one little controller. So let's take a bit more and uh, look at the software. And we're going to look at how to connect it and how to get data from the sensor. So in this example, I have the controller. And then I have this temperature and humidity sensor that we're going to look at the data and see how to uh, read the data and connect to it. All right, this is the DXM configuration software from Banner Engineering. It's available on their website, so if you go to www.bannerengineering.com, into the software section, you should be able to find this. This is the software used for pro programming the DXM R90s, as well as their wireless products, so the DXMs uh, 1000, 700, etc. So, they're a single software for controlling all of their controllers. So the first thing we're gonna do, uh, obviously make sure your computer is on the same subnet, and by default, the IP address is 192.168.0.1. So I'm not gonna change that for now. So I'm gonna hit the connect button. Um, if successful, you're gonna see a green light down there, and it's gonna say connected. So I'm connected to this controller. So the first thing I want to do is actually just look at the raw data coming in. So without doing any programming whatsoever, I just want to do a simple test to make sure that the sensor is working and I'm getting the data that I need. So if I go straight to the tools menu, I'm going to choose remote device. I'm connected to port one. And this particular sensor has actually been reassigned from the factory default of one to two. And I do recommend changing all of the sensors or devices connected to this to anything but one because that is actually what they come from from the factory. So if you have a bunch of sensors you try and connect, they're all in one, you're going to have some conflicts. So always start at two and above. So what I'm going to do is look at the remote registers and we're going to look, look at the first actually seven registers. And the reason I know that is if I go to the data sheet for the temperature humidity sensor, I'm always going to scroll down and look for the Modbus configuration. So the Modbus devices um, start at 40,001 through, in this particular case, to 40,005. So you're going to see everything from humidity, temperature, and dew point on this particular sensor. This is going to be the same similar Modbus configuration you're going to see for all the devices, whether it's converter, uh, vibration sensor, etc. This is the configuration. Okay, let's take back a look at the live data coming in. So in reference to the data sheet, here are the registers we are looking at. So assume 40001, 40002, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and etc. 
So I'm going to hit the Read Registers button, and we will get an update of the live data. This section right here should go green, and then here is the latest update on the data. So here is the humidity divided by 100, so 39.3%, 43% in this room. Here is the temperature, which is 1507, so we divide that by 20, that's roughly gonna be right around 75, 76 degrees, roughly. And then register five, that was the dew point. So again, divide that by 100, 63.24. So we have to do a bit of math when we get the registers, but that can be easily dealt with either in this controller or directly in your PLC. So to do something further with this data, check out some other videos that I've done in the past, getting the data in reference to the, some of the wireless products. We will drop a link to that video. I mean, you can see how to get the data further out of here. And in future videos, we'll talk about how to get the data from this controller directly out to your PLC. So that's part one of the multi-part series of the Banner Snap Signal products. Join me for future videos on how to uh, connect Ethernet to your PLC or cloud service. We're going to look at some of the converter uh, cables that we can use to connect to different sensors and a few other helpful tips for connecting your system. So for now, thanks for watching and be safe out there.